Hi guys, I'm Davida from The Healthy Maven and we are making French toast today. And not just any French toast, the best French toast. So let's kick things off with the most important piece, which is the bread. So when it comes to bread, you don't wanna mess around. Use the good stuff. I personally like sourdough. I know some people like challah, which is also really delicious. Just make sure you're using some really good bread. We gotta get at least eight slices out of this which should not be a problem. If you are doubling the recipe, that is totally fine. I highly encourage you to spread the French toast love. All right, we're good. We got our eight slices of bread here. It's time to make the wet mix. So I like to use almond milk for this recipe, but feel free to use whatever milk you prefer. So pour that into the bowl. We're doing about one and a quarter cups. Again, if you wanna double the recipe, that works too, triple it. I don't know, you do your thing. So next up, we gotta put our orange juice in. Get that in there. Then I like to use a mixture of almond extract and vanilla extract. And then for sweetness, a little bit of maple syrup. Let's crack some eggs. I'm notoriously bad at <laughs> cracking my eggshells, so if some eggshell ends up in there, you're not alone. So I'm just, Stirring this all together, use a whisk. You gotta break those eggs down and you just keep on stirring till it's all mixed together. I always use cinnamon because what's French toast without cinnamon? And then I like to use a little bit of nutmeg. I add just a little pinch, about a quarter teaspoon and that's it. And then again, just mix that all in, make sure it's all incorporated. You're gonna wanna grab a shallow dish and you're gonna pour your liquid in there. So I'm gonna start with four slices and we just place them down in our shallow dish. And now we're gonna let them sit for about two minutes on each side. So after two minutes, I'm gonna give them a flip. Perfect. Now it's really important that you don't leave them for too long because there's nothing worse than soggy French toast, but you gotta make sure that the liquid gets absorbed in there. Otherwise you're basically just eating bread. Okay, so now it's time to cook the French toast. So I like to use a little bit of coconut oil. Sometimes I use ghee, but today I'm feeling like using some coconut oil. So I add about a teaspoon. You can ballpark this. Not a big deal if you use a little bit more or a little bit less and just add that to our pan. All right, so now we're gonna turn the stove top on to about medium heat. And we're gonna let the coconut oil melt before we add our French toast. Ooh, did you hear that sizzle? I'm so excited. Perfect, so now we're gonna let those cook for about two to three minutes and then we're gonna flip them over and do the same thing. Well, some of them are good. Some of them, you know, we might need to do a little bit longer of a flip, but that's the deal with cooking. You can't always be perfect. So let those cook for another two to three minutes on this side and then we might flip them over for one more minute on each side. Check out that steam. This is seriously the best French toast ever, but we're not done. We gotta put the toppings on, because let's be real, the best part of French toast is the toppings. So I like to top my French toast with maple syrup, a little bit of powdered sugar, and some fresh berries. I'm going with blackberries, because those are my favorite. If you guys love this recipe, make sure you check out the blog for the full recipe so you can make it at home. It's just thehealthymaven.com. If you enjoy these recipes, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up.